Alrighty guys, I'm back with the second part of my video here. If you're just tuning in, um, we're just, me and you, we're just chilling here on my balcony, relaxing. You know, grab your drink, grab some popcorn, maybe grab your mod, and let's hang out together, you know? So, uh... Man, I've always been infatuated with uh, YouTube since it's uh, since the t since it came into fruition, um, and I've always I've I've been on it since the since the beginning. But I had a bunch of nonsense videos, and now here is my dedicated channel for content for you people. Um, and uh, also, YouTube has, has been very legendary, and um, not YouTube itself, but like uh, maybe YouTube in allowing other people uh, like me out there, maybe you, um, for sharing your lives with somebody like me. And um, that's awesome. Like, I really appreciate that because, like, I'm in a town where, like, I know very few people and I work an hour away from home and I pretty much do nothing here like I've gone out to a few shows and stuff a few uh, rock shows punk shows and stuff like that around here but it's not really my thing I try to meet people people are a little weird um, I don't know um, but anyway, um, YouTube has kind of like helped me get by, like, you know, maybe I might not have like-minded people, um, around me that I could really, like, chop it up with every day and, you know, talk about, you know, current events or, like, life stuff or joke around, you know, um, but I find those people on YouTube and sadly I can't have, like, a discussion with them, we can't, like, just hang out with, you know, we just can't just hang out on my balcony together because they're, like, on the way opposite end of, like, the United States, but, um, you know, maybe you are much like me, and, uh, maybe you're vibing with me right now, maybe you're, uh, you're like, man, this guy, Cam, he's pretty awesome, uh, this dude from New York City, I've always thought that dudes from New York City are always just like, oh, I'm from New York, I'm from New York, talk with a crazy accent, and, uh, and a lot of people think, oh, New Yorkers, they always talk with a crazy accent, they, they're always, uh, maybe, uh, braggadocious, um, cocky, um, and I mean to some, some extent that might be true, who knows, for some people. I know for sure that uh, a lot of New Yorkers really don't care to be politically correct. They don't care. Like, um, but anyway, uh, so there's that. I like to, uh, I don't have much friends around me and it makes me really sad that I had to leave my friends back home. I would love to uh, visit them more often. Hopefully YouTube, uh, YouTube later on down the line allows me to uh, take more time off from my day job and like, you know, hang out with my friends more. Um, and I'll share that experience with you. Uh, I got some really cool friends. Um, so there's that. Um, you know, I just when I when I watch people on YouTube, I kind of feel like I'm hanging out with them. Um, I used to rock out on um, PS4 live stream, like the Playroom, and people used to do some wild stuff on. People used to do some crazy wild stuff on you uh, on PS4 live stream. Uh, 
so much so that they actually deactivated it. Like, you can no longer uh, do anything on uh, PS4 live stream. You know, there is a lady walking her dog right now. I'm going to take a break for a little bit. <laughs> Just one second. This lady's walking her dog at like 4 a.m. You'll probably see her come into frame somewhere around there, but just ignore it. Um, so uh, yeah, I like to I like to feel like I'm hanging around with some people, you know. <laughs> um, and even if it's on a screen, I wish I could be hanging out with uh, peeps and you know, rocking out and just hanging out in the living room somewhere, just joking, but, uh, I guess I'm, I'm limited nowadays to, like, just, uh, vicariously just rocking out via, via the screen on YouTube with people just hanging out in their own town, doing their own thing, you know, um, and I, I really appreciate it, I get to, you know, like, learn a lot of things. Um, so, uh, one thing, one thing that I hope to, uh, do in this channel is provoke thought. Um, this is not gonna be a, uh, this is not gonna be a, uh, what's it called when, Theory, 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 theory. Ah. Duh. I have, the, this is why I need to organize my videos and like have like a script and actually edit them so there's no dead space but um, what's it called? The second word is a theory. Um, it's something where like I'm trying to persuade you to believe something. Um, oh, conspiracy theory. This is not a conspiracy theory channel. Like, I'm going to say a lot of wild stuff and um, you may agree or disagree with me. But hopefully um, I can reach out to some of you out there that might be open-minded and... Uh, you know, I'm kind of like a journalist with these things, like, I listen to it, I listen to it all, and then I make my own, uh, opinions about things, um, much what, like, much like what I'm hoping from you guys, you know, just listen with an open ear and open mind, and, um, you might agree or disagree with some things, don't come at me, because these are just things that I hear about on YouTube, and I... I do a little research and I try to like inform myself, I try to look up a couple of videos and see if I really disagree or disagree with these thoughts, but uh, we're going to talk about some subjects and uh, in the future, we're going to talk about some stuff that might seem conspiracy theorish, um, but, and I'm not trying to be persuasive. Um, I may not necessarily believe uh, in what I'm talking about. I might just be uh, just pointing out like, hey, this is a video I saw the other day. What do you think about this idea? You know, stuff like that. Um, one of the topics uh, I might touch upon is this whole um, sovereign citizen thing. Um, 
this is this is why I, lo I love kind of like bringing up this topic right now because right now like I'm not doing I'm not putting in so much uh, production into my work right now uh, maybe you know definitely later on a lot of these things that uh, I'm talking about I'm gonna touch upon later on again in a more formatted way um, but uh, Conspiracy, uh, I mean, not conspiracy theory. Um, um, sovereign citizens. I, I watched the show on Vice Land about it. I learned a little bit about it. Um, I researched it on YouTube. And it's funny. Um, sovereign citizens are people that they believe that they are free people and they operate under the um, constitution and they believe that the current law and government and law enforcement is not um, are not operating under the constitution they are actually um, they're actually violating it and in turn they are implementing their own rules that c contradict the uh, um, the U.S. Constitution. Um, now, some some of the counter arguments is that oh, sovereign citizens they uh, operate under the uh, the art of the Articles of Confederation. We don't since the Civil War the Articles of Confederation was abolished and we are no longer uh, in those times. Maybe so. I never looked into it myself. Maybe you can look into it. Um, another counter argument is that oh, you these people think that they're internet internet lawyers. They learn a couple of things about the law on the internet, or what they think is the actual law on the internet, and uh, they think they know more than the police. Funny thing about that is like police officer goes to the uh, police academy he learns a little bit about the law in like six nine months or something whatever the police academy is um, but they don't actually know the law um, take this for example a lawyer goes to school for how many years and then they have to do internships for how many years and then they have to uh, they don't go straight into working in, in, in a firm. They probably have to work as a paralegal for a while or something. But, you know, I might be wrong on that. But I definitely know it doesn't take three, six, nine months to become a lawyer. So why is it that uh, police officers um, only require that much time uh, to learn the law. Meanwhile, um, the people that, uh, the sovereign citizens that uh, a lot of trolls on the internet are saying that, oh, these sovereign citizens, they're internet, internet lawyers, they just, you know, they think they know everything about the law. Well, you know, a, a regular, a regular average citizen like you and, you and I have how much time to devote into our interests and hobbies like almost infinite so why can't we be experts at like educating ourselves um, on our own time of our free will uh, by our own means and be proficient with whatever we're talking about or exercising why not um, so this whole internet lawyer thing like cops spend under a year learn, learning the law to uh, to then become a cop and arrest people based on the laws that they know in and out supposedly. Um, lawyers spend years and years and years uh, getting their degrees um, and uh, apparently just because somebody doesn't have a degree but I can tell you there's probably uh, sovereign citizens that's been spending 10, 20 years uh, learning the law inside out 
and can regurgitate it to you and explain it and dissect it to you uh, in the middle of their sleep and they get trolled and people call them internet uh, lawyers it's, it's pretty funny stupid um, that's one thing we'll talk about um, let's see firearms I would love to talk about firearms because um, I've been talking a little bit about firearms, um, but I would like to uh, actually uh, do some demonstrations for you. Um, I, I don't anticipate um, showing any range footage of you know anybody shooting, um, but instead I would like to show what it's like to clear a gun, what it's like to disassemble a gun. Um, and the main reason for this is, for educational purposes, this is not going to be an educational like channel. Like I would love to like ha have fun and hang out with you know people, and you know hope show you guys a good time. Um, but also at the same time, I want to open you guys you guys' mind up and um, you know um, have you touch upon a subject that you kind of feel uncomfortable with, but then by the end of the, the video you're like oh maybe guns aren't so bad maybe you know um, as a kid um, one of my uh, <laughs> one of my role models was kinda like uh, Fonzie from uh, uh, Happy Days and uh, if you notice this guy um, much like Jason Statham these, these guys the action superheroes they never uh, get stressed out, they never um, buckle under stress, for the most part they always keep their composure and they solve the problem, they resolve the problem immediately and without breaking a sweat, right? So that's kind of been like my life model, like um, uh, being, I really wanted to embody the characteristic of always being prepared and remaining calm. Um, yo, that is a stray dog. Holy moly. And it is skinny as hell. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, you can't see it. Wow. That was crazy. That was a stray dog. <laughs> that was nuts. And it was skinny as hell. Um, but yeah. Um, we're going to talk about firearms. And, uh, you know, it, I feel like the media is definitely like making people uh, very nervous and scared about firearms so that whenever you come across somebody that has a firearm they you know you're gonna freak out um, so and also there are tactics um, I don't like using the word like tactics but there are maneuvers like if you were to ever be get a mug or something and somebody is in close quarters and you are in arms distance from them um, and somebody's mugging you at gunpoint there are uh, techniques on how to disarm a gunman look up them videos you know like it doesn't hurt to train it doesn't hurt to educate yourself and you know hopefully and also hopefully not hopefully this never happens to you and hopefully if it does you will remain calm and you know training will kick in and you will be able to defend yourself and walk away uh, walk away from the incident without uh, you know being shot or stabbed you know like um, 
yeah firearms I'm looking forward to that video I haven't decided when I'm gonna do the video um, I uh, cool thing the next thing I'm gonna show you I can kinda show you this out here you know you never know who's looking so I'm not gonna show you a firearm outside because you know even though I know that everybody's sleeping um, you just never know somebody's gonna call the cops and say Oh, there's this guy who's shooting a, a gangster rap video on his freaking balcony. No. People, like I said, people feel threatened by, you know, firearms. So, I'll keep that private. We'll talk about that some other time. Um, I would like to, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is, uh, pocket knives. Um, I... I would like to do some pocket knives review like this is. I'm not too sure. Hang on a second. I forget the name brand of this one, but it might be like TAC Force or something. Like all up until recently, I've been getting like no name brand pocket knives in New York City. Like there's there's been a few times where I bought like Leatherman or something from like a hardware store. But now I'm starting to buy some pretty cool knives and like they're not assault knives, they're not like don't believe all the BS that the news is telling you. So but cool knives, like this this is not good lighting to show you, but like this has got a cool graphic on it. Um and it's spring assisted. Uh, really cool like I didn't have access to these in New York City so spring assisted um, there's a cool like cleaver style blade on it which is like all the latest hype nowadays these things are awesome um, but uh, you know what um, that's that's one of the things that I want to um, talk about you know we're we're gonna review these type of things um, I think these things are cool. These are a tool. These, these are utility knives. Like, nobody should feel threatened by a knife. I mean, unless it's being presented in a threatening way. Then, yeah, you should take that seriously. Um, but anyway, those are some of the things that we're going to talk about in the future. And uh, I hope you guys have an open mind and you'd be down for, you know, hearing me out and making your own conclusions. But anyway, peeps, I'm going to peace out. I'm going to do what I do. And uh, you guys do what you do. You Right now, you're probably sleeping. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have a great day tomorrow. I'll, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. And, um, you know, live it up. Live life. Peace out, guys.